Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onedi Guzman and our topic for today is problem solving involving dependent events. This is under the module 10 of probability of compound events for grade 10 quarter 3. Dependent events are events that rely on another event to happen first. Also, two events are dependent if the occurrence of one event influences the probability of one another. Likewise, if two events A and B are dependent, then the probability of both events occurring is the product of the probability of A and the probability of B after A occurs. This is also known as the probability of without replacement. So if we will put this one in symbol, so we have the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B following A. Or we have the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given the band A. So here, this is actually this symbol means event B given event A. So here are some real-life applications of dependent event. So first and foremost, if you want to have a trip with your friends, depends on whether or not your parents will allow you, especially if you are not yet on the legal age. Number two, your success depends on how much effort you exert on your work. So again, they mention no pain, no gain. Number three, not studying your lesson and having a failing grade. Unless you have a super memory, without studying, okay, you can still get a perfect score. And that's quite impossible, right? Number four, eating too much and getting stouter. Of course, if you eat too much and without starting, uh, without exercising, you will get stouter or fatter. And number five, buying lottery tickets and winning the lottery. So even you have the correct numbers, but if you don't have the ticket, you cannot still win unless you buy lottery tickets. So let's have our first example. Kate volunteered to give box contained face masks. Consider the box contains 15 red mass, 11 green mass, and 9 yellow mass. What is the probability if the first green mass was drawn in the box? So let's analyze this one first. So we will let A as the probability of the green mass drawn. So take note that the number of event, it means that the number of green mass is equal to 11. Also, we have the total number of events is equal to the total number of mass. So that is we have 15 red, 11 green mass, and 9 yellow mass. So we have 35 mass in all. Now, we want to find out the probability of that event. And the event is to get okay, 12 okay, out of the total of 35. So again, so the number of event divided by the total number of event. So we have... 11 out of 35. So therefore, the probability if the first green mass was drawn in the box is 11 over 35. Let's move on to problem number 2. So from now, example number 1. So we have Kate volunteered to give box contains space mass. Consider that the box contains 15 red mass, 11 green mass, and 9 yellow mass. Suppose that the two mass are drawn one after other without putting back the first mass. Find the probability that both are green. So again, let's look back on this expression. So drawn one after other without putting back the first. Okay, so this probability is known as okay, probability without replacement. So we would like to find the probability that both are green. So let's analyze that. The probability of A, so meaning to say the probability of green mass, this is 11 out of 35. And so this is the probability of B following A. So it means that we can have the probability of green mass. Now, so we will subtract now 1, okay, out of 11. 
And also, we will subtract now, okay, 1 from 35. So, meaning to say you remove that one. So, this is only 10 over 34. So, again, so the probability of getting second green mass is 10 over 34. Now, we want to find out the probability of A and B. So, it means that we will get the product of their probabilities. It means that 11 over 35 times 10 over 34. So, this is still equal to 11 times 10 is equal to 110. 35 times 34 is equal to 1,190. Or, in lowest term, this is equal to 11 over 190. So therefore, the probability that both are green is 11 over 190. So let's move on to problem number 3. Four cards are chosen at random from a deck of 52 cards without replacement. What is the probability of choosing an 8, a 7, a 6, and a 5 in order? So take note that if we will analyze this, we will let the probability of getting an 8 is 4 out of 52. Next, the probability of getting 7 is 4 out of 51. Why? Because we have 4 7s. Okay? So, 7s and 8 are different. However, we subtract 1 from 52, so it becomes, okay, 51. Next, the probability of getting 6 is 4 out of 50. Again, we subtract 1 from 51. Next one, we have also the probability of getting 5. This time, we have 4 out of 49. So, now, to get the probability of getting an 8, 7, 6, and 5 in succession is equal to 4 over 52 times 4 over 51 times 4 over 50 times 4 over 49. So, the probability is equal to 256 all over 6,497,400 and divide both numerator and denominator by 8. So we'll come up with 32 over 812,175. So therefore, the prob probability of choosing an 8, a 7, a 6, and a 5 in order is 32 over 812,175. Let's move on to problem number 4. So, Pele has a box of beans to plant. It contains 12 white beans and 8 black bean seeds. As she plants, what is the probability of 2 white beans and 1 black bean in succession? So, again, if we will analyze this, so we'll let the P of A or the probability of A is equal to probability of 1 white, which is equal to 12 out of 20. So, take note that there are 12 white beans out of 20 in all. Next, so the probability of B following A, so this is another Y, the probability of another Y. So this time, so instead of 12, so we will subtract 1, so that is equal to 11. So why we subtract? Because we have actually on Y. Then 20, it will become now 19. Moving on, the probability of C, okay, following B, so this time, so this is equal to the probability of 1 block. So, take note that out of 20, we have 8 black bean seeds. So, therefore, that is 8, this time over 18. So, why? We subtract 1 already to 19. Now, so we want to find out the probability of A and B and C. It means that the probability of white, another white, and black in succession. So, we have here. 12 over 20 times 11 over 19 times 8 over 18. So, we have here, if we will multiply 12 times 11 times 8, is equal to 1,056 all over 6,840. Or, in lowest term, we have 44 over 171. So, in short, the probability of drawing two whites and one black bean in succession is 44 over 171. Let's move on to problem number 5. So in a shipment of 50 cell phones, 40 are defective. 3 cell phones are randomly selected and tested. 
So what is the probability that two are not defective and the third one is defective if the first and the second ones are not replaced after being tested? So if we will analyze the problem, so we will let the probability of A, it means this is the probability of one non-defective, so this is 46 out of 50. Next, the probability of B following A, so it means another non-defective. So I subtract 1 from 46, so it will have 45. Then subtract again 1 from 50, so we have now 49. The third one is the probability of C following B. It means that the probability of defective, so this is 4 over 48. So take note that there are 4 defective out of 50. So this time, my denominator now is 49 minus 1 is equal to 48. Moving on, so the probability of A and B and C, so this is the probability of one non-defective, one non-defective, and one defective in succession is equal to 46 over 50 times 45 over 49 times 4 over 48. So again, if we will multiply the numerators and denominators, we will come up with 8,280 divided by 117,680. Or in lowest terms, so we have 69 over 980. So therefore, the probability is 69 over 980. Again, so that ends our topic on problem solving involving dependent events. Again, this is Teacher Onan de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.